How's it going, YouTube? I've got a parcel. It's a new engine lid vent from the guys at Ropey Racing. Let's get the car in and have a look at this, shall we? As you guys know I've got a turbo in this those turbos tend to get hot so I've been trying to find a few ways to get a bit more air across the engine keep it a bit cooler one of the things I've fitted is these side scoops that will really capture the air coming in get some more air going in there it's always a problem with mid-engine cars because the engines at the back it's not getting the air around it like it they do at the front the next thing we need to do is keep the air flowing so it comes in across the engine and out. So what I want to do is open these up a little bit. That's where the ropey racing vent comes in. Fit this vent into here, make it a lot more open. Not only being open, it looks badass. The vent itself is CNC cut, so it's all nicely edged. Everything's perfect. This one's a nice gloss black powder coated finish. But before we do this bit, I just want to show you around the front because I've nearly finished what I was doing around there. Let's have a look. If you have a look down through those vents, we can see straight down into the radiators now. Under here, everything's moved out of the way. We've got the steering pump back there. There's the battery down there. And this is all being ducted up to match in with the back of the vents. So all the air from the radiators coming up and out through the bonnet. All I've got to do now is refit the plastic back on and cut it out to go round it all, make it look nice. I could do with a front brace as well, I've not got one of those yet. And when it's raining, any water that goes in here goes straight down and then through some holes in the under tray and straight out the bottom of the car so nothing's going rusty. If you want to find the guys from Ropey Racing, You'll find them on Facebook, you'll find them on the internet at ropeyracing.com and you'll find them on Instagram as well. Right, first job, I'm going to take off this engine lid. Ignore the mess under there, it still looks like crap. We've got two bolts there, two bolts the other side and just behind here there's a plug to unplug the brake light then we can take it off. And it's as easy as that, it's off. I've put a couple of rags under there just to make sure I don't scratch it because I'll need to turn it upside down in a bit to have a look around. Uh, but the first job is we've got to protect this paint. This paint's only a week old, I don't want to be scratching that yet. We're going to be cutting straight down the inside of all these vents here. Straight across the bottom between those two, across the top between those two, and down these sides. So I need to protect the rest of it. Right, that's that masked off. That's masked off exactly to where I want to cut it. I'm literally just cutting the stock vents out. But when we cut, we don't want to go f too far through here. We're, uh, we're only going through this first layer for now because if we look underneath, it's got a strengthener bar, runs all the way along with the latch on. What I should do ideally is fit some aero catchers in the corners and 
cut through all the lot but I've not got any so for now we're leaving the stock catching so I just want this top skin off first so we can have a look I'm going to use this angle grinder with a cutting disc on it this will cut through it nicely Oh, there it is cut out ideally we should be cutting all this out and fitting aero catches on the corners but like I said I've not got any so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim this down as much as I can while keeping some strength in it to get it out of the way so I'll do that now Right, so there we are that's cut out uh, it might not look like it but this this has still got a good amount of strength in it what I'll do later is I will fit some catches and I'll cut this out completely so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tidy up these edges tidy up these edges a little bit more and then paint all the edges you don't want any bare metal left you want to you want to cover it with some paint or something so I'll paint all these bare edges and I'll paint this black so you can't really see it the vent fits in so let's get it tidied up ready right there we are all sorted that's all tidied up painted black we've painted black on the edges so we've got no bare metal anywhere in an ideal situation for maximum airflow we'd remove this under tray this one it's only four bolts but for now it's winter it's going to rain a lot so i'm going to leave it on i don't want to cover my engine in water but in summer we'll remove that get maximum airflow running through this so what I need to do now is get it into place mark out these holes so we can drill for the bolts Right, that's that sorted so I'm going to remove this tape get that bolted down now, I've got these little o-rings here I'm going to fit between the engine lid and the vent just to stop any water going down in where I've drilled for these holes let's get it fitted shall we Right, so it turns out I had to take that under tray off anyway to get to the nuts on the back so there we are bolted on I'll leave the under tray off for now I'll stick that on right last we'll have a look what it looks like without first so let's get it back on the car shall we right guys there we are all back on and that looks pretty badass actually we can see straight through to the brace all the turbo gear so it's letting everything straight out from the turbo which is the hottest point under there for me and I think that looks great it matches in with the style perfect of the car I'm gonna put the under tray back on for now as I said it's winter so I don't want loads of rain and stuff getting in there right at this minute but if you're out in the dry and you really want to give it some all day then that is definitely gonna let the air out and besides the extra airflow I think it generally looks good and suits the style of the car I got one more thing to do 
I got a pretty sticker from these guys. Let's stick that on somewhere. Boom. As it's winter, I've put the under tray back on for now. So, it, but it still looks really good. So there you have it guys. That's the engine lid cover fitted and how we do it. Go check out Ropey Racing, see what else they do. Subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed already. Like the video, assuming you like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.